Hello, Richard Foster here again for Why We Go to the Bathroom, the book that I wrote. Well, I've been talking a little bit about how I talked to God about how weird I thought it was that we all had to go to the bathroom, but you know, I didn't always have a relationship with God. As a matter of fact, when I was 25 years old, I hadn't met the Lord at all, uh, really wasn't interested. It was Debbie, uh, my wife, who was concerned I was going to go to hell, to be honest, and was very concerned about my soul. Uh, she was born again as a Baptist girl at the age of seven. So I said, look, I don't want to have anything to do with religious folks. Uh, they're all hypocrites. I really don't want to go to church. I said, uh, but I understand God wrote a book. I'd be glad to read it. And she said, that'd be okay. So I read Genesis, story of creation, Abraham and Isaac, Jacob, and so on. Found that very interesting. Read Exodus, Ten Commandments. Uh, seen that, big story, liked it, Moses and everything. But then I read Leviticus, talking about leprosy, disease, uh, rules, regulations. It just turned me off, and I went to Debbie and I said, this is awful. Said, uh, does it get any better? And she said, you know, why don't you try the New Testament? So I did. And I read uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke. And I went to her and I said, hey, it's the same story over and over again. But you know something? When I read the Gospel of John and the explanation of Jesus to Nicodemus in chapter 3, I got it. And one day, driving in a car, I accepted Jesus as my Lord. Just simply asked him to become my Lord. That, that simple. And the weird thing was, I didn't feel any different. No, no angel choirs, no voices, no... I didn't feel any different physically. And I told Debbie, you know, I, I need to talk to God about this. And she said, okay, well tell you a little bit more about that the next time because I did I talked to God about it and he said some interesting things to me until next time